What is going on guys, NanoBits93 here with another video and today we got a cool one. So I don't know if you guys have seen my Microsoft Office 365 video on the iPad Pro. I'll put it in the, in the cards right here, I'll show it to you guys right here, but it got a lot of attention, right? Because a lot of people speak about the iPad Pro and how powerful it is, but only from a certain perspective, right? They talk about render speeds, they talk about video editing, photo editing, uh, music, like basically editing and creative, right? Creative style work on the iPad Pro, which it, honestly, it's amazing for that stuff. It works exponentially well, like unbe unbelievably well for something so thin, so light, so portable. How is it possible that it can render in real time 4K footage that I'm editing on the actual iPad and then, up, you know, and then uploading to YouTube? So it's doing the, the power of like a giant, you know, dedicated editing rig is doing in a tiny form factor, right? But that is not what most people use iPad Pros for, right? People buy iPad Pros and they're like on the corporate world, right? They need it to be able to open up Word documents, be able to edit PowerPoints, be able to open up an Excel sheet, uh, be able to use Outlook email, right? It's simple, like corporate, you know, work style tasks that people use their iPad Pro for, they wanna use their iPad Pro for. So that's what I highlighted in that video from Microsoft Office 365 on the iPad Pro. And what I wanna do in this video is again, highlight the aspects of Office 365, but on iPad OS 14, see if there's any difference and then kind of go a little bit more in depth on the online portal side of Microsoft Office because the Microsoft Office applications are pretty much watered down. But if you go to the online portal, it's a different story guys. So, but before we get started, I do want to try something new. I'm going to start asking questions at the beginning of the video. It's going to be random trivia. It could be about Apple products, tech products. It could be something totally random. And what I want to do is I'm going to ask that question. Then what I would want you guys to do is DM me the answer, whether I, either on Twitter or on Instagram, they're the same thing. And first person to DM me the correct answer, uh, I will feature you know, your setup, whether it's an iPad Pro setup, a Windows setup, I'll feature your setup on the last 20 or 30 seconds of the next video. The whole point of this is just to make it as interactive as possible and I want you guys to feel like I'm speaking to you and not like an audience, because that's essentially what I'm doing. My whole goal is to have one person view the video. If one person views the video and gets something out of it, then I'm happy, guys. So first question of this new thing, I'm gonna do this on every single video, most likely. How much RAM did the original iPhone 2G ship with back in 2007. So go on Instagram, go on Twitter, DM me the answer, first person. I'm gonna choose a timestamp that's the soonest. First person to give me the correct answer, I will feature them on the next video, the last 20, 30 seconds of their you know, work setup, basically their computer setup, guys. But that's a long intro, let's get right into the video. I'll put a time card in the beginning of the video if you guys wanna skip this whole part to get right into the Microsoft stuff, guys. But let's hop right into it and I appreciate you guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get right into what we're dealing with here, guys. So as you guys can see, I have Excel over here and then my main Microsoft suite apps that I usually deal with, right? I'm gonna touch on the applications a little bit at the end, but if you guys do wanna see a full video on the applications, I highly recommend going to my last video on the Microsoft products. But what I do wanna emphasize here is the web portal version of Microsoft Office, right? So if you go into Safari, because Safari is a desktop class browser, the experience is a little bit different when it comes to Microsoft Office. So if you go to office.com, this is how you're greeted, right? You get the same you know, web portal you would get on Windows, on Microsoft, on Apple, on Safari, on Chrome, whatever the case may be. You do get a desktop class style experience because Safari is built that way for the iPad Pro. And also just to preface this, the reason I'm making this is because I am on iPadOS 14 and I do wanna show you guys that as you guys can see, we're on iPadOS 14 the first beta version, right? Because that's the only one that's out. And I want to let you guys know that it does work smoothly. And iPadOS 14 has been an absolute wonder besides the widgets, guys, but I digress. But let's jump right into an Excel sheet, right? So you open up an Excel sheet and I want to touch on Excel first because Excel is the one that gives people the most amount of trouble when transitioning to iPad Pro fully, right? Because people that are experts at Excel, they know Excel like the back of their hand. I am not one of those experts. I use Excel very, very sparingly. I use it for calculations. Maybe I build a couple charts every now and then, but I don't go crazy with it, right? I don't use pivot tables. I don't pull information off of another website and link it into here. My equations are pretty simple, but I wanna let you guys know that the functionality is very, very similar, especially if you have the magic keyboard with your iPad that has a trackpad. All the same basic functionality is there. So if you press on one, one cell, you hold shift down, you press on another cell, it highlights all, those, all of those cells, right? Versus on the app version, it doesn't do that. So if I just wanted to start doing, if I wanted to start doing a simple equation, I can do that. Put a little equal signs here. The sum of one 
to the zero and we close that parentheses, you get that number, right? And obviously it's dynamic, it's live. So if I change this to 56 or 756, the number down there changes as well. But I wanna walk you guys through the top toolbar, show you that everything that you need is pretty much there, right? So this is the home one. You have all the basic functionality. You can put the different tables in there, format those tables, all the conditional formatting that comes with it. And then this is the, you know, the magic thing that you guys have been wanting, or at least the people that use Excel very, very religiously, right? You have pivot tables right here, and it works pretty much the same as it would on a normal desktop application of, of uh, Excel, but it's just on the iPad and it's through a web portal. So if you have Microsoft Office and you're on the web interface and everything saves automatically anyway, the web portal is a great way to actually do all the work that you need to get done. But you can insert everything the way you would normally. So if I want to insert a picture, it'll ask me where you, I want to insert the picture from. You know, I can insert pie graphs. You know, I will, let's say I want to do a line graph right here, and it shows you my, my data analytics from these numbers over here. And as you guys can see, I can just pick it up, move it and place it down wherever on the Excel sheet. So Excel functionality, especially on a basic level, it'll handle everything that you need, guys. It's just a matter of getting from point A to point B in a different way than you're used to, right? And that's up to you. Do you wanna learn a new way? Do you wanna modify the way you do things a little bit just to be able to use an iPad Pro? That's totally up to you guys. But I did wanna walk through all the other different ones. So if we go back to office.com, and I wanna walk you guys through, you know, going through a Word document. The process is the same. I think Word and PowerPoint are pretty much identical across the board, even on the basic applications, right? If you download the application of Word, it'll work like a normal Word processor, right? So this is walking me through how to do everything, comments, because since this is online, you can collaborate. So it is like a G Drive, it is like a Dropbox, and you can collaborate in real time with somebody else if you do wanna share this with somebody. But I wanna walk you again through the toolbar, right? And again, we'll go through here. So, hey, my name is Fernando Silva. Please sub so we can get to 10K subs. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this, we're past 10K subs, but it works like a normal word processor and you can go through the toolbar. Toolbar is very basic. There's more in here. If you wanna get more in depth with it, you can press this button all the way to the side to bring up all the options in front of you and lower it even more. You can insert all the different things that you would on the normal application, right? Do page breaks, tables, bring pictures from online, from OneDrive, add new comments, do headers and footers. You can change the layout of everything, right? Change the spacing, the indentation. You can go into references and check the t make a table of contents, smart lookup, go into the review, right? Editor, so you're able to just edit things, do proof spelling languages, add word counts, translate on the fly. So everything that you need is there and then some. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying this to you guys because I think that Microsoft Office on the iPad Pro is 100% doable if you go through the web portal, right? And then again, help functionality, the type of restrictions that you have to actually edit this document. And again, it goes from there, guys. But let's get out of that one. Let's go into PowerPoint. PowerPoint, it's gonna be the same story over and over again. Very similar, it's got all the templates that you would need. I clicked on a random one here. All the same toolbars are up there. If I wanted to modify something, and also guys, I'm using Yes, I'm using the Magic Trackpad or the Magic Keyboard with the trackpad, but I also I'm using my MX Anywhere S2 mouse. And what you see moving around is actually my mouse moving and not the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard. So keep that in mind. It works well with either a trackpad or an external mouse, guys. But you can edit it, Nando Prince 93 my YouTube channel. You can, again, insert new slides, add whatever layout you want in there. You can draw, you can annotate, because this is an iPad first, it knows that it's an iPad, so all I do is use press this button right here, and we're drawing, guys. As you guys can see, in red, and I'm using the Apple Pencil for this. So it works really, really well, guys, and it saves, and as you guys can see, it's automatically saving itself on the top right here. Change designs, add transitions, animations, review everything. So it's all there for you guys to use however you need it to use. So again, Microsoft Office, in my opinion, the best way to use it on an iPad is through Safari. It syncs with OneNote. You can even go, if you use Outlook for your mail, boom, you have all the mail you would need right there, which I'm gonna X out of quickly. But that is Microsoft Office in Safari in a nutshell, running on iPadOS 14.0. And, and as you can see, there's no glitches and no hiccups with the software. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Like I, I believe that the future of computing is gonna be these iPad style computers, right? Maybe it won't be an iPad, maybe somebody else comes into the market and builds something very similar that is as powerful, as thin and as light, but I do believe that we're gonna get to the point where everybody's gonna have a tablet 
that is a tablet first and then a computer, but can do everything that a computer can do. That's where my mindset is with everything. And like I said, I recommend giving it a shot. Microsoft offers 30 day free trials. If you have any iPad laying around, I recommend trying it on any iPad that you have. Don't go out and buy an iPad Pro quite yet, but go through your due diligence and make sure that every little aspect of Microsoft Office that you need is in, is functional within an iPad. So let's hop back to the normal view, guys. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. As you guys saw, if you are super into Excel, right, you need pivot tables, you need, uh, and then in Word, if you need to get citations of MLA formatting and things like that, then maybe the iPad Pro isn't for you, or at least not as your only computer, because iPad Pro works well as a supplemental computer to a Windows or a Mac machine, right? Especially with the Office 365 ecosystem with everything kind of speaking to each other. But if you want the iPad Pro to be your loan, Office 365 and you're like an expert hardcore user, I say hold off. If you're a casual user like I am, just needed to edit a couple documents, fix up a PowerPoint presentation, sign a document, something like that, then this is perfect. That's all you're gonna need, right? The iPad Pro will handle all that from a Microsoft standpoint. The web portal is a lot better than the actual application, but the web portal still, we're still not there yet. We're, we're still not there yet and I don't feel comfortable recommending the iPad Pro as your lone like Microsoft Office device. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that to you guys yet and I don't wanna put that in your mind so you don't go and spend $1,200 on an iPad Pro and come back to me saying that you hate the Microsoft experience. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit of a longer one, um, but again, if one person got some info out of this and helped them make a decision on buying an iPad Pro or not, that's the end goal, guys. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace.